How's it going guys? It's John. This is another Lost Ark video. In this video we're talking about logging and mining, in particular the best spots to be chopping wood and the best spots to be mining ore. Okay, so the too long didn't watch is for mining. You want to be going to Lake Bar, in particular this top area over here by the top waypoint, Lake Bar Encampment. Up here there's a ton of iron or iron ore or copper ore, whatever it's called. There's also a ton of ore over here that you can mine. You want to be pretty much just mining this until you hit level 20 miner. And you unlock Moonlight Miner. Moonlight Miner pretty much doubles or triples your ore gain. Uh, it just costs 30 more energy. Once you have this unlocked, you can pretty much mine wherever you want in the world. It makes, like, before you don't have this unlocked, mining kind of sucks. But once you have this unlocked, it's mining is a joke. And then for chopping wood, you want to be going over to Bilbrin Forest. Pretty much chop wood all, like, right here there's a lot of good wood. And then all on the edges, too. You want to be chopping until you hit level 10. That'll give you the ability to cut down lush trees. And then once you have that ability, uh, if you only have tier 1 unlocked, I would say stay in Bilbrin. If you have tier 2 unlocked, you should go to Azure Wind Isle. There is a ton of trees all over this area. And then if you have tier 3 unlocked, you want to go over here to Tide Shelf Path and Punica. Uh, to the west and east of this waypoint central plaza. All right here and then all right here. There's a ton of trees. There's a bunch of channels on this uh, area. People are always chopping wood here, so you can get tons of wood really fast by helping each other chop trees and whatnot. Okay, and then for the rest of you guys who actually want to watch the whole video, uh, we're going to talk about the tools. So pretty much the, all the tools, uh, you want to be getting super armor on them. So you can, if you don't want to craft any tools yourself, you can just go to the tool vendors. They're like almost in every zone. And you can just buy green tools from them. Just keep buying tools from them until you get super armor. You see right there, it says super armor while tree cutting paralysis immunity. It makes it so when monsters hit you, they don't knock you out of animation when you're gathering. You can get this on all your tools. Uh, I think, I don't think fishing tool you can, but pretty much everything else you can get super armor on. Um, so in this video, we're just talking about mining and wood cutting. So for sure, get super armor on these two. Um, you should get them on all of them, to be honest. But for sure right now, logging tool and debt mining tool. You can just keep buying more tools from the tool vendors and just keep trying to roll super armor. You can't choose which perk you get, it's just random. And then for the rest of you, I would suggest actually just crafting purple tools, these adept tools, because if you go onto the market, if we look over here under trader and then other, the adept crafting kits for the purple tools, they're only one gold, they're really dirt cheap. Uh, wait off on the other ones because they're a lot more expensive. But you can pretty much just come over here into your into your uh, crafting section and you can just make the purple tools. They're not too bad. Uh, it just takes blue ore, green relics, the white relics, and then these tool crafting parts, which you can craft down here. You get 30 parts for every time you craft these. Here's all the mats. Um, I think it's worth it to craft the purple tools because they're going to last you a really long time. And uh, they also have a chance to get three of the bonuses. Whereas I think the green ones, they only have a chance to get one. Um, so you have a higher chance that you're going to get super armor. Um, it's RNG. You still can't choose which ones you get. But hey, at least you have a better chance of getting super armor. And like I said, these tools are going to last you a long time. And in case you need to repair them, you can make these trade school, <laughs> trade school, trade skill tool restoration kits. They give you like 80 of them, I think. Yeah, that'll repair like 40 durability, I want to say. I forget, I haven't done it in a long time. But uh, yeah, you wanna be making these purple tools because they're really fucking cheap. That does cost 100 gold per, but at least the, the adept craft kits are way cheaper than the other ones. Okay, so like I said in the too long didn't watch, uh, we'll talk about law or mining first. For mining, the major thing with mining is you wanna hit level 20 on mining for Moonlight Miner. Before you hit level 20, mining is pretty shit. It's, you don't really get that much good resources. Even like this one, this perfect timing. You get rare materials, whatever. It's kind of like whatever. It helps, but the major big difference is Moonlight Miner because Moonlight Miner basically acts like a free uh, Leap's Essence, which is that, it's like that green potion you can get in the market that gives you like double resources or whatever. You can buy it on the cash shop. Um, but this is basically like a free Leap's Essence. You just turn it on, it's an active ability. And you're pretty much getting like double or triple the ore. So once you have this unlocked, you can pretty much mine wherever the hell you want. So like I said in the too long didn't watch, go to Lake Bar and you can just every couple of days, you know, burn through your energy and try and hit level 20. I think you could probably hit level 20, I don't know, in like a week or something of, of gathering. I'm not sure. I've been gathering like since the game came out, so I don't know. 
I don't know how long it's going to take you, but I'm telling you, Moonlight Miner will change your... <laughs> it'll change your life once you get this. Like, mining is a joke after you get Moonlight Miner. And then, yeah, pretty much once you get Moonlight Miner, you can pretty much go wherever the hell you want. Star Sand has some good ore. Uh, Tika Tika, I guess. I haven't mined there much. I know there's some good ore spots over here in Punica around here. A lot of people like to mine there. Um, like I said, it almost doesn't even matter where you mine once you have Moonlight Miner unlocked because it's just so, uh, it just gives you like double, triple your ore. I mean, it's really good. Phaeton also has a couple good spots. Uh, actually, no, it's only in the first zone. Nameless Valley. I know I went there one time and it is really good. Um, so yeah, like I said, get Moonlight Miner. That is the hands down the most important thing to do with mining. Um... There also is, real fast, I could say, talk about this, Meteora is another island. A lot of people like to go there because there's a ton of iron ore. The problem is with islands is that there's only one channel to be on. So you'll have like five to ten people in this little tiny ass island, and it's not fun. <laughs> so I would not suggest going to Meteora because it's just no good. Whereas with Lake Bar and like Bilbrin, I'm going to talk about, Lake Bar has a ton of channels. Um, it's probably because there's a ton of bots here, but... <laughs> At least every time I go there, there's a lot of channels, so you won't really have to deal with too much competition while you're grinding your mining. So yeah, that's it about mining. And then for logging, pretty much the same thing like I said in the Too Long Didn't Watch. You want to go over to Bilburn Forest. There's a ton of wood all around here and along the edges. This is probably the best place to level wood or level wood cutting, at least, you know, in Tier 1. Uh, and... Just pretty much get level 10. You should be able to get level 10 pretty easily. Like, I think like a day or two worth of, of energy. I'm not sure. You should be able to get it pretty easy. Um, And then after that, I would say best spot in tier 2, like I said in the beginning, is Azure Wind Isle. There is a ton of wood all over this zone. It is really good for chopping wood. Um, You just need to mount up and run around and chop the wood. And then, I think I said in the beginning... Punica, Tide Shelf Path, this is probably the best spot to chop wood in the game because everybody and their brother is in the zone. There's a shitload of channels, and like I said, there's a ton of wood to the west and east of the Central Plaza Waypoint. And so everybody's always helping each other out, chop all the trees, you know, in right here in Central Plaza and then over here on this western side of the waypoint. So, yeah, I've been pretty sure, hands down, Punica is like the best spot. So, and then, um, just real quick, talking about the skills. Honestly, most of the skills are kind of like, eh! for logging anyways wild growth lets you grow these little saplings and it'll grow it, it as a chance to grow into a normal tree or a big tree um it's okay it's a five minute cooldown it doesn't cost any energy or anything it's like whatever it's not that big of a deal kick tree is pretty good you get a level 30 it basically gives you like i want to say like two to three times resources from a tree without actually chopping the tree um the only thing is it does cost life energy it's worth using it. I think it is worth getting unlocking. The major deal why you want to level up your logging to level 30 is so that way you can chop the bigger trees. The, uh, I forget what they're called. They look like pink and white. Um, that's really the only reason why you want to get your logging to 30. Because once you hit 30, that's the cap, like the soft cap. So you can just chop all the trees in the game. You don't have to worry about, oh, this tree's higher level than me or whatever. And then same thing with mining. Mining's a little better, like I said. Uh, perfect timing's kind of, eh, it's, it's alright. You get some rare materials. Moonlight Miner is super buff. You need to hit level 20 uh, for mining, definitely. This level 30 ability, Mining Bomb, it's okay. I think it's better than the Lumberjack skills because it doesn't cost energy. It Basically, you drop a bomb, it blows up uh, the ore, and then it allows you to get like double the ore, pretty much. It's, it's good because it doesn't take energy, so it's kind of like Moonlight Miner, in a sense, like it doubles your ore output, but it's, it's like, whatever. I mean, it helps, but Moonlight Miner is the big one where you're like, holy shit, this is big. So yeah, I think that's about it, guys, for the video. Just to recap, for mining, you want to hit level 20 mining. Like I said, you come to Lake Bar, mine in this top area over here next to the waypoint. Once you get that Moonlight Miner, mining is a joke. You can literally mine, like, anywhere in the world, almost. And then for logging... Uh, similar, you want to hit level 10, so now you can cut down the lust trees. Uh, so get level 10 in Bilbrin Forest, chop all the trees there. And then either go to over here, Azure Wind Isle Island, which is over here south of Rohendel. 
you can go here to chop trees or if you're in tier three the best spot to chop trees is definitely tight shelf path over here at the central plaza waypoint to the west of the waypoint and to the east of the waypoint bunch of trees and a bunch of people is the best spot to chop wood but yeah that's it guys for the video thanks for watching i hope it helped you out and yeah see ya